hello guys so welcome back um this is me good morning how are you doing today hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are trying and managing to be strong i am trying to be strong for since yesterday and this is true story with me on this platform which share stories and motivates inspires and forms entertain and educate you as you all know what we have been going through yesterday, a lot of people have been sending me email and be asking me what's the update, what is what is going on, you know, we've not had any update. Well there's not much but the only thing I came here to talk about is the fact that as you guys know yesterday eight people were uh, were detained from uh, eight people were detained from uh, the widow's house. And then, after interrogation, six of them was released, were released, and two were held. The two that was held, most of them must have heard it, is the chef and the nanny. Now, after they were asked questions, the nanny uh, said she was with the widow's son, she was with the family yesterday evening, and they were all sitting down, probably in the, in the living room or somewhere where they're sitting, and then the chef came and joined them. So she said that then she received a call and she needed to step aside a bit to go and answer her call. And when she stepped aside, she came, when she came back, she didn't see the, the chef and the and the fine. So she thought maybe the chef was with the fine. And then it was after a while that the chef, when the chef came back to the parlor again, that she asked him where is Ifani, and the chef said, "I left Ifani with you." And and then they started looking for Ifani. They went all over the house, looked for Ifani. They said they searched for Ifani for 20 minutes. They couldn't find Ifani. It was later that the security man went to the pool side and saw Ifani in the swimming pool. By that time, it was she was, she was already gone. Imagine looking for this boy for 20 minutes and probably who know how long that she answered the call who know how long the chef was away who know how long the, until the chef came and she asked where the final was and all that now the question is as we all know and this person is trying to say that oh i left the family with you the thing is, uh, chef said no i left the family with you then he said i left the family with you the thing is that the two of them, no one is uh, agreeing to take uh, responsibility of what's ever happened. But we all know that this is a situation of negligence. You are a chef. You are a nanny. Everybody have their job. The nanny is not expecting the chef to do her job. When you're going to make a call, why didn't you carry that child? Why didn't you hold him? Why didn't you? Yeah, we, we can answer this question. Of course, we know that mistakes happen. Things like this can happen. But then, everybody should know, be able to know their job. These are the things that will make you to sit up in your position. As a parent, as a worker, you will need to sit up, right? These are the things that when we share it, it's only intended to inform, inspire, entertain, educate you, motivate you. That is what we do. So, this institu- situation now, she left to go and answer a call. Whoever was calling her, whatever call that, that was, you can, see, you can only see that this is just not ordinary. This is just not ordinary. Because there are so many questions about who opened the door. It's either something spiritual was involved or something physical was manipulated. It was, it was involved somewhere. So now let's look at it in a spiritual way. First of all, most we know that there is battle. Of course, even though that we are not in that family, but everybody could know, could tell that Choma and the widow must be facing through some spiritual battle, especially Choma and her son is also a target because yes, other ones had babies for Choma. Choma came in and had hair apparent to the widow. Everybody knows how much the widow cherishes his children and especially the one that is his son. The much that he loved this boy, the much that he wants to do with this boy, the much that he desires to do with this boy. Okay. Now, considering the fact that there must be spiritually um, uh, manipulations going on there and here and there, they made these people, the whatever warranted that call at that moment, whatever warranted that the chef have to come in to distract this woman, and when the call comes in, so that she can be on phone, and then whatever that might be able to happen will happen, and then the chef will go his way, leaving the boy vulnerable to be attacked. 
the two of them at the end of the day need to just accept that they were both whatever whether if i would like unfortunately devil used them whatever it is that they were used as because something must be used something must be held responsible that is how life is you understand that's why also where you are working wherever you are also be prayerful let when that thing that wants to come you know and use you let you be in the spirit that let that be a spirit that will fight for you that will protect you let it be that that spirit will say ah watch and if god is with you because you're prayerful god might open the eyes of this of of the chef or whoever it it it, it was to look ah look oh this one just fall inside the water we need to be very prayerful this the whole situation is a huge one now we most most of all, people are blaming the chef most people are blaming the nanny people say yeah you don't you didn't do your job well and all that of course whatever brought that distraction of that call and then she went away and then she came back she forgot her job because the only job she have in the house is to take care of her family she is not supposed to be the cleaner she's not supposed to be the cook she's not supposed to do anything the only job she have in that house is to take care of her family so she went out came back relaxed on her phone without looking for her job without looking for her task without looking for her responsibility she sat down and relaxed so that is why when people in africa you know people forget their own job and feel like ah all of us they had I if, if, if you help me do my own job what well, I will feel happy do your own job and until when the chef came back and she couldn't find a fan and this whole situation happened now another question goes to the fa- the, to the parents you know now we are not here to blame the parents because what have happened have happened sorry for their loss sorry for anything but remember in Igbo they say eba na do one na enwe ronno do ka nwa nwele na eba na do nwa nwele no do ka nwa na enwe ronne na amula ko in life we use what happened to other people to learn when i shared that video last week friday i said this now is going to make me to understand that yeah you know pray for your children when going to into some sort of activities pray for your children when you're leaving them to a stranger now let us think about the fact that you know this family these two people they left their child at the risk of stranger this chef how related is this chef to you is he your family member is he related to you in any way family this chef and this nanny and if you're going to go away to a place that you will leave your child knowing the situation knowing that you cannot trust anybody knowing that you there are so many enemies it can, there can be even even an enemy within why didn't you think of like, okay, let me call my mom. Probably your mom or your your family is in Lagos. Let me call my mom to come and stay in the fam- in the house or my sister to stay with the family so that they can take care of her, you know, bring her to school so that they can carry. Because when your family is there, they will always hold your child. They will always carry your child. They will always be an eye other than a, a stranger. This is not directly to Chioma and, and the video, but this is directly to other persons, to us, to everybody. In this situation, people are saying, why didn't you take them away? You cannot always carry your child every time. Yes, that is, knowing your situation, okay, you can you can have a nanny. This nanny have to be there everywhere where you go to. But what about the boy's school? He have to go to school, right? If he have to go to school, they don't have to go everywhere with him. Yes, he's three years, probably he, or at this moment, it's not a must for him to go to school. We understand that. Probably they decided to just, it's just a weekend thing. We understand that it could be a weekend thing and they don't need to go with this boy. They decided to go without him. And now they left him in the hands of people that are not their family. So when you are in this kind of situation, it's either you go with your child, if you can afford to pay the nanny to take care of your child and watch, be there around you so that can, your eyes can be there, it's okay. But if you decide to also be on your own for some time because you cannot always be with this with your child, find your family to come and stay with your child while you are away. Put on cameras everywhere. Monitor what is going on everywhere. In fact, like... It is not easy. We cannot. I know it is not easy, but we just can say and assume so that as human being, yeah, when we are in this kind of situation that you know we have to leave our child, you just have to be thinking like have to. It's not easy. It's not easy. I can I can tell, but just for, just to a kind of you know, let us just share these opinions and see what might be you know what might be um 
a beneficial what my how it might help others this is just for everybody out there not only um uh, uh, the celebrities not only choma and the video that happened to it could be anybody let's see how we can learn and do better may this child so continue to rest in peace we are going to be keeping you guys updated as of now nobody have heard from the family they are still obviously in serious pain me that is not i'm not related to them I, i'm only i only see them on facebook uh, and instagram i only see them on social media on online i know how i felt the whole of last night if you leave me the whole of today i will be great i will be bringing videos bringing videos because i was i'm stuck in it i know when my mother died every day even up to tomorrow i still create i still sing i still create videos for i still like if you leave me i'll keep doing it for the whole of today because you guys don't understand how it feels to lose someone that you love your dear one your dear one ah jesus well this is the update for now who is to be blamed the both of these people need to take blame and need to go in for it if he touches the video and try to forgive them later but they should at this moment accept their negligence and go in for it